I'm Hala Lwali. I'm a Palestinian woman living in Gaza Strip. We are with Alianza in partnership with local partners uh, uh, doing or providing multi-sectorial services for GBV survivors under the Palestinian context. We want to talk about the, the gender-based violence in Palestine in general. First of all, we have to talk about occupation. Uh, occupation means that you are not allowed or not have the, free, the freedom to, of movement or to work. For Gaza in particular, we are under siege uh, and closure since 14 years old. That means uh, 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 this, uh, this uh, siege is forced by uh, the occupation, the Israeli occupation. This means that it leads to poverty, high rate of unemployment, psychological stress, uh, 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 emotional uh, disorder, and this leads to uh, increase the rate of uh, uh, gender-based violence um, among uh, all the marginalized groups. Uh, also affecting the, uh, the social life means there is no like uh, uh, sufficient food, uh, drinkable water, uh, uh, sufficient shelters, uh, and the protection. And this all, we, when we talk about violence, we talk about closed cycle, means that everything leads to the other. Uh, so all this situation and condition lead automatically to increase uh, the gender-based violence against the marginalized a group, especially women and girls. In our situation, the uh, civic society organization is the, the main uh, provider, service provider, and then the government come to support it. We, sometimes we provide uh, transportation for the women uh, to lead them uh, uh, access to the, uh, uh, the facilities where they uh, can receive the services. In addition to, we also establish something called mobile clinic where we can reach women who are not able to access to the, the facilities because of their economic situation or because of uh, the patriarchal culture where uh, their husbands or her, their fathers to prevent them to access to uh, uh, the facilities to receive the, uh, the services. Um, so the mobile clinic uh, with, with like a, a medical uh, team and psychologist reach to women to their houses to provide the services to them. At the beginning, uh, there is like a, a, some uh, concerns or fears from the uh, GBV victims to uh, uh, talk about their situation. So, uh, in general, uh, the health is the main uh, entry point for the rest of the gender-based based violence uh, survivors. And uh, on that uh, regard, uh, we establish, we, as Alianza, we establish with the, uh, the, the local partners something called One Stop Center, where, where uh, the GBV uh, victim or case can find she can come. This One Stop Center contain health center and community center. In the health center, there is the health, uh, health services provided there, and in the community center, the rest of uh, GBV services provided there. So internally, on the same place, the woman can come to a clinic, to the health clinic, and the, which is acceptable in the community for a woman to receive some reproductive and sexual health services, and then internally, it, uh, she, she will be referred to the community center where she can uh, receive the other uh, services she needs. Actually, uh, one of the best uh, things that have been, been done uh, through APS, uh, through Alianza with the local partners, is establishing the safe space, like its name. It's a safe space for women and girls. They can come to practice their uh, uh, you need to have like a uh, um, self care to um, to to see each other to exchange their experiences and their stories together and uh, actually Alianza do something which was unique uh, recently we do something called bank of time uh, bank of time means that uh, women uh, who are LGBT survivors or women in general in the community because of their poverty and they haven't like a, 
uh, a money to to pay for the services some services that that they are in need to to have uh, so they can attend the safe space and every one of them who has a, a skill or talent or something can teach other women about it and we could, we we bought this this time that she spent in the safe space in her account in the bank of time and she can benefit it from it to receive another service by this this uh, this time that she has in her bank account uh, this like improve the uh, the exchange of the uh, the skills and knowledge and the uh, within uh, under the, the 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 context of poverty and having money to pay for the services when covid-19 distributed and we have this lockdown uh, it is not uh, it was not allowed to attend the safe spaces so automatically because the women are in need to be together uh, also elians established some with the local partners establish uh, something called virtual, uh, virtual uh, safe space that we have safe spaces on social media on the on the facebook that women are uh, gathering there to exchange some uh, Uh, their experiences and their uh, their stories and the things uh, that they, uh, they want to exchange. The women with disability in Gaza will yani you know, we you, we can consider them as the most marginalized group ever ever you know uh, during the last 10 years uh, gaza uh, was subjected to four uh, aggressions from the israeli uh, uh, occupation um, uh, 2008 2012 2014 and the last one in 2021 uh, women with disabilities uh, in in the aggression suffered uh, a lot because first of all they couldn't uh, evacuate they couldn't run away uh, from the the pumping and the, from the rockets uh, and also in some cases not it's not common but in some cases uh, the families yani run away and don't think about these women with disabilities house Uh, in COVID-19 also the women dis- with disabilities suffered because of the lack of information because you know uh, under the lockdown we have this uh, remote uh, services uh, which sometimes not suitable for the women with disabilities for example sometimes it is not with the sign language for example uh, the, the blind people face some problems in general women with disabilities face Uh, uh, a problem of a uh, lack of information regarding COVID-19. We are working with the DBOs, disability organizations, and also uh, uh, with with our staff in the uh, local partners. With the with, with the DBOs, we train them on uh, gender mainstreaming and GBV mainstreaming. Means that uh, we train the DBOs. Uh, we consider them as uh, GBV non-specialized actors, and uh, providing them with the main information uh, about the uh, gender-based violence, how to detect the case, how to refer her uh, how to deal with uh, GBV cases of women with disabilities in addition to recently we also trained all the uh, staff who are working on our projects um, on sign language that mean, which will facilitate uh, a lot make this facilitation so we we, we are doing our best to uh, f- to do this i- i- inclusion means that uh, women with disabilities is, are a part of uh, the community in general like any other woman in the community Actually, in the last uh, aggression in May 2021, uh, 33 facilities, uh, health facilities, was completely destroyed. Uh, this means that, and these facilities were, were providing uh, GBV uh, services to GBV victims and also provide some um, services regarding to COVID-19, in addition to the whole facilities for UNRWA and the government and also the 
civic society organization were closed. This happened because during the, the aggression. This happened because there is no, no protection for the staff who are working in, in such facilities. So under attack, they are not able to go to, go to their uh, work and to provide uh, the services. We provide the, uh, the services remotely. Basically, we provide, we provide the, the, this counseling of uh, psychological, social, and some, uh, some counseling for women um, who are suffering from reproductive uh, or maternity. They are, for example, women who are pregnant uh, and they need to have this uh, delivery. During the aggression, there is no uh, possibility to go here and there, especially for the hospitals. Uh, and there are some cases we face that they, they face some difficulties in their delivery. So uh, immediately after the, uh, the aggression end, we start to uh, provide like uh, courses on uh, safe delivery and to uh, provide with this kits uh, that can be used to, for uh, in delivery babies and so on. In addition to we made like a, a first aid courses, uh, psychological first aid courses as well and also distribute the first aid kits and psychological first aid kits. Uh, uh, we provide like uh, video records on the uh, virtual uh, safe spaces, make like instructions for uh, the community, especially for women, how to protect yourself during uh, during the emergency, what you have to do, how to evacuate. The, the only key for this is participation. That means that if we participate with each other on all the life aspects, uh, it will be easy and fine and it will reduce the gender-based violence. Uh, and we have to raise the awareness of the, the community in general and for men in particular, men and boys, because we have to start from from the beginning, when they are young, uh, to raise their awareness that uh, you are one, you are the same, uh, you have equal uh, rights, equal opportunities. Uh, the women are not asked to, 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 to do the reproductive rule by herself alone. Raising the awareness, it has to be for the whole community not only women, because sometimes, especially in, in Palestine and under this patriarchal uh, culture, women attend the, the awareness and they are full aware of their rights, uh, but they are not the decision maker. Uh, even on some uh, very personal uh, uh, aspects in their lives, they are not the decision maker. Uh, so uh, for awareness, we need to uh, target the men as well it automatically will lead to uh, reduce the uh, gender-based violence even if we have some uh, different cultures but uh, at the at the last women are women everywhere and the the suffering and the challenges faced everywhere maybe it, it's different in the context itself but at the end we are women uh, the burden is the same, the difficulties are the same. So having this network and this uh, exchange and uh, yani will, will make like, will be with added value and will make like a fruitful uh, achievement. <music> Lastly, I want to thank uh, Spanish people a lot. All the time they are showing their uh, solidarity uh, with the Palestinian uh, population, Palestinian community. Uh, we are yani, uh, highly appreciated uh, uh, your support.